I got a fax from the Florida Wildlife Commission. The guy's got a couple ponds in the backyard. I guess he's got a canal running down the edge of the property. So the gator kind of comes in, hangs out, moves out. A couple days later, we'll find him in the other pond. I'm assuming you call about the alligator? Yes, sir. Hey. How you doing, Paul? David Hester. Scott. Hey, Scott. How you doing? What's, uh, what's going on? I got two ponds on the property. Uh, went to the back one, and I see there's a, a large gator over there. Uh, how big is the pond? It's about 70 feet, maybe uh, 30 feet across. Does the pond connect to the canal at all? There's a culvert that runs between the pond and the canal. And uh, how big do you think he is? Maybe eight or bigger. Yeah. OK. You're not going to kill him, are you? you, you no, I wanna, we want to get a rescue. So uh, okay. they're going to end up going down to a preserve at Homestead. I've got uh, a 14-year-old daughter, and I got my wife that has some fruit trees out here. Uh, and I don't want my wife coming out here to the fruit trees to pick fruit. and stepping up on a gator that's sunning himself on the side of the bank over here. That wouldn't be a good thing. All right, let's go see what we got. Uh, the guy will come out. He'll find the gator in one pond. A couple days later, he's in the next pond. He just kind of goes in and out of here through these culvert pipes and uh, up and down the canal. You said you saw him earlier, right? Yeah. Did you see how big his head was? About okay. that big. Wow. Normally, you can tell how big they are from the, the size of the head, Okay. however many inches it is from the tip of the nose to the eyes. Yeah. You translate that to feet. So okay. if it's eight, eight inches, it's eight feet. Wow. So you're okay. looking at a nine and a half, ten Big. footer. Hey, Paul. What's up? He came up for a brief second. He got spooked and just darted down. You think he's over here? I think, yeah. He just went down. Just went there. straight down. Just okay, went straight I'm going to go in down here then. <laughs> OK. I got in the water on the opposite end of the pond because it is pretty small. If he hears me coming in, he's liable to move a little bit. It was crystal clear all the way across. And when I got to where he was, it was a big silt trail. And uh, he must have heard me get in, kind of maybe turned and spun a little bit to check out what was going on. Scott, he's right here. He's right there. He's big. They settled down again over the corner. So uh, just ran up on him. He just sat there. I Ease that noose over his head real slow. And as soon as I tightened it, he just went nuts. Crash his head side to side. I saw Paul struggling, so I ran over there as fast as I could to help with this alligator. <laughs> this alligator was just going crazy. Boom! As we pulled him up, as it happens a lot, he grabbed onto the pole. You always get concerned, because if he starts to shake his head side to side, it's like a, an extension of his head. He's got a weapon in his mouth, basically. Stuck here. Yep. Yeah. This was a big gator. He was heavy. The skater just rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled. He wouldn't stop. I walked around him, and he felt that rope around him, I guess. And he, I don't know if he figured that pole was attached to me, and he wanted to tear it off or, or what he was doing. But he just started rolling again. He's on autopilot right there. So I just kind of walked in, sat on him. Nice. Yeah, I know. 
What we're trying to do is physically exhaust them. We want it safe for us to pick them up, jump on them, tape their mouth shut, pick them up, put them in the truck. And it's also safer for the gator. Look at that baby. All right, you're done, Bubba. Look at his head, dude. I think it's huge. Look at that baby. You're all right, buddy. You're OK. You're OK. You're OK. Dude, those, those are some strong jaws, man. I think these guys are really respectful of the animals. They, they, they treat the animal very well. It was handled very professionally. That's fantastic to have my yard uh, back where I don't have to worry about it. The homeowner was happy that we, you know, we got him out of here. He could tell we had the animal's uh, well-being in mind. Um, you know, he's glad that he's going to a place where he'll be able to live out his days. All right, well, thanks. Thank you very much. Really Thank appreciate you. it, guys.